wanted to do a video on a new product I picked up. Some of you probably caught some of my Instagram photos and Facebook photos about the day we did the brew, or I'm sorry, the bottling, and obviously the brewing too. Haven't made any of those videos yet, soon to come. Just kind of working out the kinks and everything before I get crazy and put it all on video and have a nothing but a blooper show. But wanted to talk to you tonight quickly about fast racks and I end up ordering a set of these things and here's what you get you get two racks and basically a tray and obviously they're insignia which is great fine it's all over the racks I don't really care about that but what I was questioning over a bottle tree how great do they work so I kind of want to show you some of that. I was kind of disappointed. You can kind of see they have ends on there. I was thinking these ends would plug into the other racks somehow. They do not. Some of you might that have these probably aren't complaining about them. But I don't know if I like the sturdiness of that. When I was reading the reviews, they were really sturdy. Okay, so I'm not, not going to really argue about that. But I'm going to show you how they work. These are some old homebrew bottles I picked up. So any bottle in them works this is a nice part about it they sit right that's actually a taller bottle that i got you can kind of maybe see that height different so they'll work in that right they're touching but i don't know if i really care about that this is a bomber bottle still works still goes in there so they all fit in there relatively decent oh i take two bomber bottles i'm gonna run into problems obviously they don't fit that well but maybe if i alternate little tight but it'll work so happy with that part of it the part that I'm really kind of questioning though is just how they stack so I want to show you that I thought I had four of the same bottles I don't so I think a lot of home brewers get stuck in that so I'm just going to show you my bomber bottles they got bottles down there too so one kind of feel like I'm playing connect four here now but Here's what I really not thrilled about, and I'm not trying to tell you they're telling us stack bombers, but here's your connection. Here's how they're supposed to sit. Some of you are gonna be like, you're overreacting. Maybe I am, but I'm kind of thinking if I have 24 bottles up here and somebody bumps it, yeah, you know what? It's somewhat stable. With most of the bottles being indented, it probably isn't gonna go anywhere, but I'm not overly thrilled about that, so I'm going to show you them. So this is what you're getting, and not complaining about the product. So far, I kind of like the product. It seems like I'm complaining about the product. So it will work if you're careful. I'm uh, not, not against that. I'm going to grab a couple bottles, more bottles, show you that, and I suppose you probably should line them up. So here is our stability. It's actually not that bad as I'm complaining about, but I kind of wanted to show you how this fast rack system works. Another little complaint I have is the bottles that are on the corner drain onto the other bottles. Probably not the end of the world either when you're in star sand. But this operation kind of made me nervous. And you get a little weight on top of these. Especially, it's actually fair, more stable than a person would think. I think that's why there hasn't been a whole lot of complaints. But... I really still think it's kind of high, so I'm kind of concerned. Maybe I'm overreacting. I just would hate to turn around and bounce it and break them. But I did not buy a bottle tree because I wasn't really impressed when I was looking at those. I was hoping this was a nicer system. And I kind of just wanted to show you all kind of its capabilities. So in that rake, Kind of has a nice capability. Night said I'll do multiple bottles. And, you know, this is talking 24 per rack. So we're talking 48 bottles in two systems. So you can think about it yourself. They're about $28. I don't think that's a bad price. They're all fuzzy. Oh, we're going to have an accident. But, interesting enough, supposedly made in Detroit, Michigan. And I yeah, know you can't see that, but that's what they claim in the U.S. But what I did is since I was worried about them tipping over and I don't really want to work this high up in there, I ordered another one of these bottom racks for 10 bucks. So my system will be this once my other rack shows up. I will have another rack just like so. And they will sit there 
just like that. So, and I got enough counter space, so I would rather have two racks I can move around really easy that way. If I need bottom, more bottling space, I plan on just doubling it. So you're talking 28 bucks plus tax, so let's round up 30 bucks. So 30 bucks is set, so I buy another tray, I'm talking 10 bucks, so let's say, say roughly 40 bucks. Two systems, $80 to do, well, now we're talking four cases of beer. And I, I don't know about you 10 gallon guys, batches that you're doing, but if you're bottling all that, I mean, awesome, good for you, but I think you can cycle it in at that point. You're still gonna have to sanitize all these. So my thoughts are now I'm gonna go down to three gallons, but I just got another tray coming and that's what it is, but I kind of wanted to give you an honest review of what they look like. I know the bottles aren't wet either. That's kind of a concern too when I was doing it with wet, well, I never had really wet bottles when I was doing this. I kind of see them a little more slippery, a little worried about that. But overall, I think versus a bottle tree, even too, the nice thing you can mismatch. Once they're in there, they're nice and straight. Still got room on that bomber. I got a little ways away. And then these are recessed in the tray, too. I thought I could put a towel under there if I want to be cheap, but for 10 bucks, they're stackable. Some people say they store their bottles with them. Okay, fine, I get that. But you're still going to have dust around the bottles. Still wait for stuff to cr bugs to crawl up in it. But I wanted to give you a brief little video on Fast Rack since I got them and I wanted the solution. Because last time I did this, I had dishwashing tubs. If you haven't seen that, please check out some of my photos and stuff. Instagram, Facebook, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then a tub, and there the bottles are just all falling over. And that wasn't cool. So, this is a new method, but I just wanted to give you a view on that. Anybody that's interested in Fast Rack, it's kind of what you're going to get. 30 bucks, two trays, and a drain tray or whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's a bad system. Plastic seems pretty heavy. Drain tray, it's a little lighter, but it's going to do its job. Supposedly dishwasher safe. I wish I would have went on a bottle tree route at this point. No, I mean, I really like the stackability simple. Thinking if I got a tall bottle tree, I don't know if I like that. Spend around. I think this is the easy system. I like the mismatch of it. I'm just, uh, the biggest disappointment I am, and now I'm complaining, but I'm just not happy with this operation. And not, not that I do this stuff and I'm in a super, not that I do this, I'm in a super hurry. However, I'm just still concerned about this. And now I'm up to this. If this is all bombers, I'm going to pretty high up there and I'm reaching up. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, like I said, I'm overreacting, folks. But kind of only my complaint about it so far. So that's why I did the bottom tray. But overall, I don't think it's a bad system. I, I don't know how you create a bottle dryer much better. So here's where it's at. Anybody has a bottle tree that they really like, love to see the link to it, where you got it, why you like it. What do you think? Overall, though, I think this isn't a bad system for 30 bucks out of tray. You're at 40 bucks. Anybody that's brewing under five gallons, I mean, that's two cases. You should be able to get rid of that. Even my five gallon batch, I think I ended up with 51. So I'm short three bottles. I mean, I can live with that. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but if you're brewing over five gallons, I'm kind of like, why aren't you kegging? That's my opinion. I'm going to do some kegging too here, but. Got to find something I really like. But enough rambling, everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick review of Fast Rack and see what I thought. And uh, link will be up to the website. Obviously, it's on Amazon. So check it out if you're interested. Video is going up. And next time, I hope we'll be doing a video on more beer brewing. So please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Please come make some comments. There's been some great comments. I've been really happy that a couple people... Make comments about that and they were happy that I was actually doing some videos. So that's encouraging. That's positive. I don't plan on quitting doing this anytime soon. I got more barbecue ideas coming up. Some more other stuff. Some more beer brewing. So we'll see you next time. More stuff to come. Thanks for watching.